Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Math Key Fundamentals. So this is the topic one of fundamental of mechanical engineering, force, moment, and couple. First, what is force? Force it is a push or a pull acting on an object which changes or tends to change the state of the object. If you see in the diagram. There is a box and we either push it or pull it. So both are the force because they change the condition of it or the state of the box. Effect of forces in that the first one, there is the external effect of the force in which we assume the body as a rigid body. So the external effects are two types. The first one that is the statics in which the body is at rest under the action of the force system. And the second one, there is the dynamics in which the body changes its position of rest and that will move or that is in motion. In statics, our objective is generally to calculate the support reactions. And in dynamics, our objective is actually to talk about the various parameters which are involved in the motion condition that is acceleration, retardation or the displacement. You see the, both the diagrams. The first one that is statics in the one box is, is at the rest condition. Even its weight is downward so it will get some support from its base and it is at rest position. In dynamics the box is moving having some acceleration displacement. So this are the study we do in the dynamics. The second one, there is the internal effect of the force in which the body is a deformable body, in which under the action of the forces, the body gets deformed. So in that, we generally talk about the stress and the strain. The stress is due tensile, compressive or the shear that depend on the type of loading. Then the characteristics of a force means the terms or the parameters which are required to define a force completely magnitude, second is direction, point of application, and the line of action. If you see this diagram, the point A, there is a point of application in which the force is approaching the body. This arrow represents the direction, which is 30 degrees from the horizontal. 10 Newton, that is the magnitude of that force. It means we have to quantify it with some number and the unit, and the trajectory of that force, that is the line of action. Moment. It is a rotational tendency of the force to cause the body to rotate about a specific point or the axis. And it is defined by the product of the force and the moment arm. And the moment arm is actually the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the actual point. You see this diagram. This is the nut and this is the spanner. And we are applying a force F here. So this is the line of action. And this is the point about which that nut will rotate. So the moment which we are creating here by that force is the force into the moment arm that is the perpendicular distance between the line of action and that point that is D. So here the moment is force into distance that is F into D and you see that is clockwise in nature. Next is couple. Couple is the special case of the moment of the forces in which two equal amount of the forces opposing direction with some distance are acting. And again, they will rotate that particular body. So again, we have the rotational tendency here. And here the moment of the couple, which is also known as the coupling moment, that is given by the force into the distance between these two forces. So here there is F into 2D. And this is the example of the coupling moment. You see here, we'll brace using two hands pushing opposite directions. So we are getting the rotational effect. Now here, I discuss a numerical to understand the fundamentals about how we determine the moment of any force system. So here, this is the problem. And here, our objective is, what is the net moment of the given force system about P as shown in the figure? So here, 6 Newton, 14 Newton, 5 Newton forces are acting. And our objective is to find out the net moment about P. So now here, individually, first we talk about the moment about P. So first, we take the 6 Newton force. So 6 Newton is the force that is downward at that particular position and P is the point. So as for the moment definition already we discussed, the moment is force into the perpendicular distance from that point to the line of action of that force. 
So we have the force is 6 and the distance from that point to the line of action of that force that is 2 meters. So that is 6 into 2, 12 newton. And you see, so this frictional force about P will give the anti-clockwise effect. So it is anti-clockwise in nature. Now we talk about the moment of 14 newton force about P. So the force is 14 newton. So its line of action is this. The distance is 2 meter from P. So that is 14 into 2, 28 newton meter. Now you see the effect of that force about P. So that is clockwise in nature. So it is clockwise. Then this 5 newton force about P. You see the force is 5 newton. The distance between the point and the line of action of that force now that is 3 plus 2. So that is 5 into 3 plus 2. There is 25 newton meter. Again, the effect of this 5 newton about P again it is anti-clockwise. So there is 25 newton meter anti-clockwise. So now you see we have the total clockwise moment about P that will be 28 newton meter. And the anti-clockwise moment about P that will be 12 plus 25 that is 37 newton meter. So now to find out the net effect of that moment it is clockwise or anti-clockwise we have to give some sign convention. For clockwise moment we take positive and anti-clockwise we take negative. So the net moment about P that will be 28 minus 37 that is minus 9 newton meter. So minus means the net moment is 9 newton meter and this minus sign signifies that it is anti-clockwise in nature. So finally we have the net moment about P that is 9 newton meter anti-clockwise. So that's all. Thank you.